Before opening the right ventricular outflow tract, stay sutures are placed on either side of the intended site of incision. Seen to the left of the stay suture currently being placed is the left anterior descending coronary artery running in the epicardial fat next to the suture. The pulmonary trunk is incised between the two stay sutures. The incision is extended headwards towards the pulmonary bifurcation. Then it is extended downwards through the annulus of the pulmonic valve into the front of the right ventricular outflow tract. Further stay sutures are placed to help open up the right ventricular outflow tract. The distal part of the right ventricular outflow tract just before the pulmonic valve also has muscle overgrowth which must be cut away. This right ventricular outflow tract hypertrophy is resected here at this stage of the operation as it cannot be reliably reached from below through the right atriotomy and the tricuspid valve. The top corner of the pulmonary arteriotomy is extended in the direction of the left pulmonary artery. The leaflets of the pulmonic valve are tacked back with sutures and a patch of bovine pericardium is prepared to be sewn in place. The patch is trimmed to the correct size and one of the ends is tailored to fit into the corner of the left pulmonary arteriotomy. The patch is sewn to the margins of the right ventricular outflow tract and the pulmonary arteries using a single layer continuous over and over suture made with continuous proline monofilament. The first sutures between the patch and the corner of the left pulmonary arteriotomy are made at a distance. The patch is then gently parachuted down into place and the suture line is continued up the right side of the pulmonary arteriotomy. At the level of the annulus of the pulmonic valve, the suture is brought out and secured. The opposite needle is then taken up and used to advance the suture line in a continuous fashion up the left side of the pulmonary arteriotomy. At the level of the annulus of the pulmonic valve, this suture is brought out and secured. A small sheet of Gore-Tex membrane is cut to the correct size and shape to be incorporated into the repair as a unicuspid pulmonic valve. The Gore-Tex membrane is then sewn into the repair, incorporating it into the augmentation patch as a unicuspid pulmonic valve. Where the two ends of the suture meet, they are tied together. A purse string suture is placed around the foramen ovale. We will later de-air the left heart through the foramen ovale, and after that we'll tie the purse string, closing the foramen ovale. Both lengths of the suture are equalized. Then they are secured. The suture line around the augmentation patch of the right ventricular outflow tract and the pulmonary arteries is reinforced around its circumference with multiple figure of eight sutures.